Ooh, that's nasty. Yeah, there we go. Hey everyone, welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. We got a special treat today. We got Mitch Huppay here from Winnipeg, and he brought an older ball with him, which is the Cuda C Pearl from 1995. We couldn't find anything really new to compare this against, so why not do it against the old one? So while they may appear to be similar on the outside, on the inside they are quite a bit different. In this new Cuda, we have a three-piece design. We have an inner core, dynamic core and a cover stock. With this older Cuda ceramic core, it's a two-piece ball, so we only have core and cover stock. The cover on this one's actually quite thick. So let's focus a little bit on this new Cuda. So the cover stock is ERT solid, which we saw in the Power Torque solid. Core inside is a little bit stronger, so you're gonna expect a little bit more overall ball motion out of this one versus the Power Torque. So I wanna talk a little bit about this Cuda C Pearl here from 1995. Uh, there is a ceramic disc in the middle of this thing. In trying to drill thumbs for Mitch, he does use vice interchangeable thumbs. And up hitting it trying to drill that out so we actually had to put a solid slug in this one which we've never had to do before so what are the expectations i'm hoping the new cuda out hooks the old one but you never know with these things for our patterns today we have 42 foot carbon which is our house shot here at lucky nine and we also have 44 foot titanium so a little bit longer pattern I think this one's gonna shine on that one. This may not hook at all, but we'll find out. Big shout out to our members who have joined so far. If you wanna become a part of our community, get coaching, early access to videos, free merch, and so much more, hit that join button below. That's enough in here, let's send it out to Mitch on the lanes. What's going on everyone, Mitch Upe here again. And today I'm rocking the vintage Columbia 300T because we got the brand new CUDA Power Core from Columbia 300. Bringing back one of the kind of legendary bowling balls. Bowling on a house shot on the left lane. We're gonna see how this, this new ball compares and we actually do have a special treat for you because I will be comparing the brand new CUDA to the CUDA C Pearl from 1995. This ball actually came out the year and month that I was born. So this will be a fun comparison just to see how technology has kind of changed since 1995. So, all right, let's hit it on the house shot. House shot here hooks a lot. So I'm gonna be pretty deep, at least with this brand new CUDA. Wow, yeah, super strong. That ball got right and it rolled very nicely. Okay, I mean, we're one for one with that. So let's just see how the old one compares right off the bat. We did hit it with a little bit of surface just to try and give it maybe a fighting chance. But... Let's see, so this is the exact same spot and these balls are laid out pretty much the same. wanted to get there and it hooked a lot more than I thought <laughs> than I thought it would. Again, the new CUDA from there. Oh, took four. Yeah, that's uh that's a lot of ball for sure. No surprise. How it hooks the old one. Let's see if we can maybe get a little lined up with this. So we're just gonna move the I don't know four right the old one which not actually that big of a difference considering Definitely can't get it as far right. Unfortunately, yeah, it's just not really a fair fight, I don't think. I mean, I think this ball's gonna hook back on the house shot. So let's move another five left with the brand new Cuda. So far, pretty impressed. Okay, a blaster seven. Ball is hitting like a Mack truck. I'm kind of a surprise, actually, how much this is hooking for a symmetrical. I guess the cover is that strong. Five minutes later. Perfect. All right, just for fun, let's head over to the other lane. It's a 44 foot long pattern. I mean, I'm not too worried about the new CUDA, so we'll see how it, uh, it plays on the, the sport pattern. And uh, yeah, just for fun, we'll see how the, uh, <laughs> the old one does. 
Okay, question time with Mitch. Got to see a little bit of both the uh, the new and the old CUDA. Question for you guys, what's the oldest ball that you throw in league? So again, on this long pattern, I'm gonna stand a little bit further left. Just not gonna get it as far right as I could on the house pattern. Wow, kinda hooked more than I anticipated. So I'm gonna keep moving left, and honestly, maybe I could get it a little further right. That looks, that looks good. And that was just minor move, two left and uh, one right with my eyes. Now, just for fun, let's just see how the technology from 1995 will compare. And I'm gonna stay in the same spot. I really wanna throw it as far right, because <laughs> I don't think it's gonna hook back, but. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've all did not pick up in the mid lane. And I get it's a pearl, uh, so it's not gonna pick up as soon, but. You can just tell that the, the strength isn't there it? for the amount of volume out there. I'm gonna try and stay in the same spot, but I'm gonna just move my eyes like five left. Yeah, I mean, I have to keep that ball way more in the oil because it's not, it's not really entering a hook phase, really. So we'll go back to, uh, well, the obvious choice for this pattern right now should be the brand new Cuda. Let's move another one left. It's nasty. Uh, yeah, I got that one run one right of where I wanted it. Okay, we'll just move another couple left. Won't be afraid to chase it with this ball. Yeah, pretty good shot. Kind of want to redo the get a strike basically. Yeah, that looks pretty dang good. Let's go back to the shop. Okay, just got back from the lanes, just got done throwing the brand new Columbia 300 CUDA Power Core. A little bit of an interesting ball review because we weren't necessarily comparing it to a ball that it would typically be compared to. We're comparing it to one of the original CUDAs from 1995. So, had a little fun with it and I mean, it's hard to compare. It's almost apples to oranges because the technology has come such a long way and you can clearly see it in the video. Just by how much this newer ball, which would kind of be like a mid-range, midline ball, out hooks what back in the day was probably one of the most hooking balls uh, available to bowlers. Thoughts to begin with, I'm a fan. I mean, I'm a big fan of the new CUDA from Columbia. Could definitely see it fitting into the arsenal, probably in that same spot, if not just a little bit stronger than the, the GB4 from Ebonite. Yeah, I'm actually, if anything, I'm actually leaning towards probably swapping those two balls, just based on what I saw. So we ended up seeing about three to five boards worth of difference between the two, like maybe three or four boards on the house pattern, but then five plus boards on the sport pattern for sure. And that was just with my feet, with my eyes, especially on the long pattern. The older Cuda C, I definitely had to keep close to the pocket. It didn't give me really any recovery room. And I get like, it is a it is a pearl versus the solid. It's a little bit of a difference, but um, I think it just really comes down to technology because I mean, the covers have come just a long way and they're so aggressive compared to what they used to be. So overall, I do see the CUDA Power Core being a super versatile ball. It could fit, fit a lot of games, and then you kind of get that with that solid symmetrical ball. I mean, I know it's gonna be part of my arsenal, like I said, and I can see it being used a lot on tour. I, I just think it's gonna match up to a lot of different bowlers. That's, and again, that's what you kind of get when you have that benchmark symmetrical solid ball. So thanks again for watching. Remember to answer our question down below. What's the oldest ball that you throw in league? Thanks again, and stay tuned for the next vid.